Right, very good uh, morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you happen to be in the world watching this video and trust you're all staying safe and well. Um, a lot of you still in their homes uh, for the few that are working. At least uh, hopefully you've got a, a normal life getting out of the house, but thank goodness for amateur radio. Um, lots of things to talk to you about this morning. Uh, my guys around the south of England, um, the sales guys, Tony, Jonathan and Mark and the others, have done little videos as well, which we're going to string all that lot into this one. Um, so here we go. Um, first one is uh, Yezu Cashback. Of course, that's um, the summer cashback offer um, was announced um, a week ago by Yezu Japan. And sure enough, uh, on our website, if you wait for the right banner to follow along this one, you'll see uh, it's the HF Summer Special. So Yezu have taken out some of the um, best-selling products from their range, uh, like the FT991A, which is the HF uh, 62 uh, 70 radio. Um, nice and compact, 70 pounds off that. FT891, again, the new uh, sort of replacement for the uh, old FT857D. That's no longer in manufacture, um, it is be 15, 16, 17 years old probably by now. That's finally ceased production um, and they've replaced it with the 891. Um, FT818 of course, no competition for that. Um, it's an upgraded FT817. Uh, I was selling these, um, I seem to remember from the um, small, very small shop I had, not the first one, the second or third one I had in Northfields Avenue in Ealing. And they were literally, I've never seen queues out the door for that uh, that little shop before, but people queuing up to buy the 817. Um, I think they're about £669 many years ago. And sure enough, all these years later, the replacement is only £599. There you go, that's, um, that's how the prices of kit have uh, really have slid down over the years. Um, FTDX 101Ds and MPs, £90 cash back. So that's the uh, Yezu cashback offers. Um, back to um, a very popular radio, especially at this price point, the FT450D, um, HF and six meters with uh, built-in antenna tuner. Very simple to use. I know a lot of um, hams buy these um, as a standby radio. Uh, they also, um, for uh, newbies into the hobby, that really is a big, uh, a great piece of kit. It's very simple to use. They upgraded it to a D-Spec. You know it's a D-Spec because it's got these silver, whoops, if I stop this slide show going on. They've got these silver bits around the knobs. And they also, these two and these, um, used to wobble about. And when the owner of Yezu visited me years ago in uh, the Chertsey uh, um, store, um, I said, look, can you stop these wobbling about? And he looked at me and sort of very mildly nodded and sure enough, um, they went away and redesigned uh, various aspects of it, including a much better lit display. So the FT450D is available and as you probably saw earlier, there is a cashback on that uh, offer. So that's gonna be under 600 pounds for an HF uh, base transceiver. The other one is the um, FT891, which I've already mentioned. Um, AT1000, uh, for those of you that um, uh, have been using manual tuners maybe for your um, uh, HF rigs that are running up to 600 or 1000 watts output, LDG introduced um, the AT1000 years ago, they updated it again with the Pro 2, it's got a bar graph on the front for SWR and power. Uh, and remember, because they're uh, LED bar graphs, they actually react really, really quickly, rather than iron meters moving about, which have always got lag. This instantly shows you your peak power uh, on the top uh, bar, which is, where do I do? Do I go there? Yeah, which is that one. Um, multiple um, antenna inputs. You can also manually tune the antenna tuner as well, and it's got several antenna sockets on the back. So that's the AT1000 Pro Mark II. If you've been running up to now MFJ uh, manual tuners, etc., you may well consider that, um, the AT1000 in comparison. And also if you're running a solid state amplifier, and as I said earlier, wonder what tuner to use, 
typically the new Acom 7000, its predecessor the 600, uh, and all the other solid state amplifiers that are out there, that really is a good buy. That's available from stock, 529 pounds. I've got a little list here, you see. Um, IC7610, I think I mentioned this last week, the other popular um, Icom base station. Um, again, a fantastic seller. A little bit slower nowadays, it's been out a couple of years, but um, beautiful big um, high resolution screen, which is touch screen. Uh, color, of course. Um, SDR, yes, the IC7300 is based on this product, um, but if you want to get into the flagship variant of it without going up to the uh, IC7851 at 10 odd thousand pounds, and yes, we've got one of those in stock as well, <laughs> um, consider the IC7610. Um, we're also throwing in a free SM mi SM30 microphone, I see. Uh, I think it's probably um, we're giving you an SM50, but I'll check that out later. So that's the IC 7610, um, 2999 uh, in stock, and if you order that um, on a working day, still DPD and UPS are delivering in a couple of days, which is wonderful. Certainly far more up to date than uh, our unfortunate Royal Mail that um, is taking up to 14 days to deliver customers' parcels, and right? they, they really are unbelievably uh, heavily uh, overloaded. Uh, another um, transceiver, this one from Italy, um, the FDM Duo. This is really bought out to compete with uh, Elecraft. Um, I guess it's a full SDR transceiver, it's very small, it's only about this big, it runs 5 watts output. The big advantage of this is, as we've said before over the few years that it's been out, it's a complete SDR transceiver uh, with knobs on. So rather than just being a black box, aka Flex and the patchy and all the rest of them, um, Franco, the uh, owner of ELAD and the chief designer of this product, uh, wanted to bring out, um, and I have to say, a beautifully crafted piece of kit in um, all brushed aluminium. Um, the unit um, is HF uh, 1.8 to 30 megs, um, simple to use, and you can plug it into uh, a PC to give you full PC control and um, uh, using uh, software, which is free incidentally. Uh, available in different colours, you can have it in black, which is that one. Um, they actually found a silver one, uh, which we ordered. Sorry, I haven't got a picture of a silver one. It says check in store for availability, as that hasn't arrived yet. But if you fancy a silver one, we've got one of those coming in. And of course, uh, the red one. Uh, the red uh, version was my idea um, when I visited um, Friedrichshaven, which incidentally I think has been cancelled for those of you that were thinking of going. Um, rather unfortunately, um, that won't be um, happening this year. Um, I said to him it'd be great to have a red one, because of course red and Ferrari, not quite a Ferrari red, but he thought that was a great idea, and he even attributed it to us, and that's why there's that little uh, MLNS symbol down there. So that's the FDM Duo, which leads me nicely on to the receive-only version. So again, Elad thought, um, uh, rightfully so, that there's still a good market for HF receivers. I mean, goodness, think how many HF uh, receivers we've sold over the years. Very few manufacturers, uh, the, the Japanese ones in particular, make an HF receiver only. Um, so Elad did the same. They've taken out all the PA uh, um, system of the um, FDM Duo and bought your receiver. So for a couple of hundred pounds less, if you want a good SDR based receiver, which again you can connect to your uh, computer, you can read all the spec there, just FDM uh, Duo R in the search box, and that'll bring that up. In stock, 759. What else have we got? Um, oh, some little um, optional accessories. Um, the Nissi RS50, this is a very small, about that big, um, inline power meter, um, which is backlit. It hasn't got internal batteries. I did ask them about this, but there's more problems in getting it um, C approved and everything by putting and uh, making it battery powered. This is C approved, of course, but it's um, uh, an inline power meter for VHF, UHF, 2 and 70. Um, ideal for mobile use, <laughs> albeit unfortunately cars are stuck in uh, outside your house as, as uh, ours are at the moment. But 
ideally for use in the shack as well. 140, 150 megs and 430, 450 is 270. And I do believe they're 20 or 30 watts. And it'd be nice if my, oh, there it is, there it is. Look at that. I do, uh, uh, do apologize, it's 120 watts. So good power, very small and 59.95 and they're in stock. Um, they do do an HF version, which is the RS70. Exactly the same as the last one, brightly lit LCD screen. Uh, I do apologize for that, it's my phone binging away. Um, some photographs we took of it. Um, again, backlit, um, easy to use, 1.6 to 60 megs, um, and that is, um, again, 120 watts through power. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a, on a power SWR bridge, um, they really are very neat. And I've seen customers put um, Velcro pads on the back of these things and stick them uh, on the shack wall on, on a metal cabinet and run the cables in neatly so you can literally quickly look up and see what your SWR power meter is, uh, power output is without having a great big meter on the front. Um, baby loops, uh, if you're stuck um, for putting up a wire antenna or you don't want to put up a huge beam or something for HF use, if you haven't heard of the um, Ciro and Mazzoni loops, um, please consider looking at this one. Um, Ciro are an Italian manufacturer. They originally bought these units out for uh, commercial use, and in fact, the bulk of their sales is for commercial use. This uh, item um, we've been selling for about four years now. They keep improving it and making modifications to it to make it even better. They really are so in over engineered it's untrue um, why would you use one of those they're relatively compact um, they are quite immune to noise so if you if you're in a, in a noisy environment at home you've got electrical noise uh, in places loops tend to ignore that continuous coverage from uh, 40 meters up to 10 meters or 6.6 .6 to 30 megs um, it comes with a controller um, at 1299 uh, and the RS232 module, which allows you to interface it with Yaesu, Icon, Elecraft, and Kenwood radios. So um, the Baby Loop um, is available from stock. Unfortunately, the shipping is very expensive, or rather, it's £55. So, really, just have a look and think that the, the, the antenna is going to cost you um, £13.50 delivered. Uh, recently sold one of these to uh, a very good customer of mine um, nearly two weeks ago now. He's at home, like me, um, but he's got more time on his hands because he's semi-retired. Set it up in the garden um, uh, on a short pole and he's absolutely over the moon with it. They really do work very well. So if you're stuck for space and don't mind the investment because you'll get a lot of years out of this, do look at the baby loop. Um, there it is, uh, Mydel CO, uh, CO301s, which are the small coax switches we sell. These have been around forever and ever, selling these at, but with, in, with uh, Bernie and Brenda at the Amateur Radio Exchange in the 70s. Um, s a three-way switch, we do do a two-way one as well. Um, all solid die-cast aluminium, this thing, it's not cheap, bent out bits of metal. Um, CO301M. Uh, we do the two ways, as I say, and they're $34.95. So if you're looking to replace that rattly old switch or fed up with unplugging leads and sticking it back in again, just take one of those and you can do it all by yourself. Right, there's lots and lots of other um, kit on our uh, website, obviously. Um, all the lines are still um, uh, open uh, for my guys, um, Jonathan, Mark, Tony, John Power, and the rest of them working from home. Uh, my eldest son and uh, Paul and others, including Gary, are actually working at the store. Um, four of them usually, Max, um, all gloved up, masked up still, I'm pleased to say, all fit and well, and uh, they do say hello to you um, f through me, but unfortunately we haven't got time to get on the uh, cameras. Um, Gary's actually done uh, one of the videos for me uh, yesterday. He took some handhelds home because he's still going into the store and that'll be included um, on this video as well. So um, thank you for doing that, Gary, and at home after you've been working all day. Um, no problems with carriers uh, so far as UPS or DPD. As I did mention earlier, po post office really have almost come to a grinding halt. 
Uh, they seem to be, be prioritising uh, special delivery and recorded delivery seems to be getting through a bit quicker. But I do apologise. Um, some of the posts can take up to 14 days. It's all arriving, but it's taking a long time. Um, so consider maybe paying a little bit extra and going for the, the carrier delivery. Anything else you need, please email us or call us. Uh, I hope you're um, enjoying your hobby in these uh, troubled times and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you very, very much indeed. Hopefully I'll press record, otherwise I'll be doing it all again. No, I did. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Jonathan from Martin Lynch and & Sons and uh, for this week's Sun for the Weekend video we're all uh, picking a product that we'd like to have a quick chat about and uh, and I want to talk about uh, the brother to this. Now this is an anytime uh, ATD878. What I actually want to talk about today is the ATD868, the uh, the baby brother if you want to the um, 878. Now the nice thing about the, the 868 is, is its price tag, £129.95 you get a really competent DMR and FM dual band radio that not only is it designed with amateurs in mind, it has a proper VFO mode, it does have GPS on board, it will also do the digital APRS system or DPRS via the DMR network. And it is it is a really competent radio. It has 150,000 contact slots available in the radio as well, which means you can put the entire worldwide database of users uh, and their DMR ID numbers uh, into the radio, which means that if you keep it up to date, you know, if you do an update every uh, a couple of weeks or so, which is what I tend to do with, with my 878, I download the, um, the user database every couple of weeks, uh, put upload it into the, uh, the software, uh, and keep the uh, keep the radio's database up, up to date, and it means that you're never just left with a string of numbers on your screen. You actually get information of the call sign, the name, and even where they're located, which is a really nice little feature, and something that you know you would otherwise have to go to something like uh, a different well, a different digital mode, something like D Star or uh, or Fusion. And actually, D Star or Fusion don't give you uh, any more details than just the call sign, so that's quite a nice feature. Of course, with the GPS on board as well, it means if you go out for a walk and you're, and you're, um, and you're talking via your, your local repeater, as you transmit, your GPS coordinates are being transmitted to the DMR network, and that will then filter through onto um, APRS.FI, which is quite a nice, handy, uh, handy feature as well. Uh, offers 4,000 channels, uh, both analog and digital. It says there are 10,000 talk groups, which is insane, uh, and up to 150,000 contacts as well. As well, and the nice thing about um, the Anytone radios, the 868, the 878, and the 878 Plus, uh, is that you have the capability to have more than one DMR ID uh, in the radio. So let's just say that uh, you work for a company and they use DMR. Well, um, if you want to, too, you could use your Anytone radio on on their uh, system. Obviously, you'd need us to open up the radio potentially and, and wide band it for you. But you could have one DMR ID slot in there for your for your amateur stuff and then another one for your work stuff or if like me you're you're licensed in in more than one country and you do a fair bit of traveling and therefore you've got more than one dmr id uh, you can put your two different call signs your two different dmr ids into the radio which is quite handy so um when i went to the states uh, earlier this year uh obviously some of you may know that I'm, I'm licensed in the states as well and i was able just to very at the quick of a click of a button so you click of two buttons change the uh, DMR ID in the radio that I was transmitting with without having to go anywhere near a computer, which is a really nice handy um, feature. Obviously, it's plied with antenna, battery pack charger, adapter, belt clip, instruction manual, and a program cable as well. Uh, and of course, you can see the software uh, on our website as well, which is software here. Also, there has a sample code plug as well that you can uh, just to change to your own um, to see yourself. Uh, it is available from stock now. It's £129.95, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Tony from Martin Lynch and & Sons, and I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on this week's uh, thing for the weekend item that I've been looking at. It's the DV Megacast, and what I'll do is bring over for you. So look, and here we go. So retailing at £319.95, it's an IP-based solution for those of you that... Uh, Maybe on lockdown and don't have access to antennas, etc., but do have the internet. Good thing with this unit is it does operate over DMR, D Star, and Fusion. Very, very simple to operate. One thing to bear in mind is you do need a power supply 
So make sure that you add the power supply on when you place the order and uh, a microphone as well. So it's, uh, it's based on the A2 systems, one of the MH microphones, perfect well, the, the modular ones. Um, as we can see when we look down here, uh, built-in speaker as well and the amplifier as well. So it's about three watts, so nice and loud as well. And a rotary encoder, so you've still got the, uh, the radio feel. Turn it. And it's very quick with the menu system as well. Um, there's a lot of support videos online with YouTube, etc. I think, I believe, well, Gary's done a video on this as well. So it's worth checking out. And uh, as I said, any issues whatsoever, we have a support network here at Martin Lynch and Sons. It's that kind of added extra that we bring you. Anyway, take a look through. All you need to do is go to the uh, small search bar at the top here, enter DV Megacast, and uh, that will take you straight there. And again, with any of the items, best way to find it, use the search bar at the top. If you find anything with, uh, with a website that you'd like added, etc., please let us know as well at sales at hamradio.co.uk. Stay safe out there, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, welcome once again to a Martin Lynch & Sons YouTube video channel. Um, I'm going to have a little chat today about some little handouts I've got down here that Martin gave me to uh, bring home and do a little video on them. Um, and I'm going to do just that um, before they all go back um, tomorrow. So I thought I'd try and get it all sorted now, which I'm at home, as you can see, I'm not in the, not in the store. Um, normally I would be customer support um, or part of the customer support team. However, um, obviously with all this uh, madness that's going on at the moment, um, I'm actually in the store picking and packaging um, as part of a skeleton team, um, making sure that you guys get all of your orders. Now we're trying our very best to get everything out as quickly as possible. Um, unfortunately, in some places it would appear that Royal Mail are having some hardships. I should imagine they are absolutely swamped and I, my heart goes out to them because obviously most businesses now are you know, utilising all the, uh, the couriers and stuff like that and putting a lot of pressure on a lot of people. So bear with us and um, we are trying to work through it, it's, although it is very, very difficult at this time to get the answers that everyone wants, but we are trying, I promise. Okay, so do you remember VX3? This is um, now, this has been in, not in production now, I think probably for what, three or four years, maybe even five, I don't know. But we did have a, quite a few of these um, at one stage, even when they, was, they stopped production, Martin bought all the, the little, uh, the supplies out um, and, you know, because they were such a good little handheld. And I've still got mine, I've had this for, for years. Um, but as you can see, it is almost the size, well, in fact, you know, it's almost the same size as my hand. I have quite big hands, I'll be honest, but it is a small radio. So we're going to use that for size comparison. Now down here, I have, this is the FT25. Now this is the cheapest um, radio um, that uh, we've got here. And what I'll do is if I put you on, we put you on that one. There you go. Um, at the time of doing this video, these are fifty nine ninety five, um, and as I say, these are probably one of the most popular um, little radios that we do. It's a mono bander, VHF only. Okay, so let me just unbox them here for you. Let me just um, go over to there was the GoPro again. Right, so. It comes with all the normal pamphlets and bits and pieces. Um, I don't know why they put the warranty cards in nowadays. No one really uses them. We've got um, a very sophisticated, um, uh, you know, sales system now that logs all the warranties anyway and the and the uh, serial numbers. Um, so the radio itself, how does it compare? Well, these these are. I have to look after the bags because Martin will tell me off. Um, you have to make sure they're very flat. <laughs> Sorry, Martin. <laughs> right now, then, this is the little, the little hand, a little handheld, and you can see that that is pretty much a bit bigger than my palm of my hand, um, and compared to the very small um, VX3, you can see there is quite a size difference. That is a, it's not ginormous, and it's not as big as say a TYT sort of radio. Um, it's not quite quite that sort of size these are quite slender would fit in the pocket quite easily they come with a belt clip and they've got a little hanging strap thing on there as well 
um, it's a click on and volume knob, single knob and control and then it's push button to get your frequencies and uh, program the radio. Um, they do come with a very good quality power supply which I think is in this day and age it's really important that we, uh, we get good quality power supplies and Yaesu um, really do supply. They, their quality control is, is just exceptional um, Yaesu uh, stuff. So it also comes with a drop-in charger. And the drop-in charger is not very big, palm of hand sort of size. Um, and yeah, so it all comes with it. So you, you don't really need any, any extras. A lot of these handles now, they come, you need to buy things like, um, you know, the drop-in charger because obviously they, now they're saving money by putting the, the charger in the side of the radio and not including the... Um, the, the drop in bit but these these smaller or these uh, cheaper range actually do do that um, which is it's fabulous I think so um, okay now the aerial is um, fractionally bigger than um, let me get this out yeah the aerial itself is a good quality aerial a lot of people ask me is it worth upgrading some of these aerials um, to sort of maybe one of the diamond ones and that does depend, okay, um, quite a lot. I mean, Yaesu put a lot of thought into these these antennas. Um, they are very well designed, and you will get pretty much the best performance out of your handheld from the factory fitted um, antenna. Although there may be marginal gains by putting on um, a, a bigger antenna, but in my humble opinion, it becomes slight, starts to become a bit unwieldy. Um, but there are some good offerings from Diamond as well. Um, and again, we try and put anything that we, f we feel is useful on the accessories um, sort of side where, where possible. Now, this one's actually got a, um, a plug type adapter. So it's a male SMA um, poking up from the top. And obviously there's your female or your socket, which then basically goes into the radio. Um, and then once that goes on, the radio itself is then quite big. It's actually palm of my hand, and you can see that it, it uh, extends quite a bit further. Um, and there is the the VX3 next to it. So you can see that it's quite a bit bigger. Um, that's quite a chunky area as well. It's very stiff. So these are very well made, really, really. They are made in China, but they, they are incredibly good um, uh, quality. And it's got that Yesu kind of feel to it got a really good rubberized PTT button and a couple of extra ones there and, and a good sort of feeling uh, keyboard and a little sort of slit sort of letterbox or sort of style display you're not going to get sort of like um, the, the best information out there you'll get the basics you'll get your um, you'll get the menu sort of functions and the, the frequency and the, the tone is on or off that sort of thing on that little screen but that's about it okay so let's get that one put away try not to crinkle the bag um, right, there we go. There we go. He's in there like so. Put them away. There's the problem with un unpacking new radios. It's very difficult to get them back. So, them in there like so. Right. That was the FT25. E VHF two meter only. Next, let's look at the FT sixty five. Now this one is, if I find him on my little list, is seventy nine ninety five. And let me just show you the the website. There you go. Okay, this one's seventy nine ninety five, and is a dual band radio it's, it's this almost identical body the same size the same antenna that sort of stuff um, and it is just dual band so you've got that little bit of extra sort of stuff and I've done a couple of videos on these in the past um, for things like the the tones and setting up repeaters and stuff like that so let me go back to the GoPro right so again it's got the same display slip, same body style, um, same sort of uh, side entry um, ear, ear um, phone and uh, programming uh, ports and stuff. Same PTT buttons, 
same twist and uh, on volume knob um, everything oh, it's got a little torch there as well I think the other one's got the same but again this is their um, Chinese sort of range um, again it's got the same sort of quality all CE approved and all that sort of stuff but fantastic quality really robust little handheld fabulous well worth a, a visit if you're looking for a dual uh, dual band um, radio we sell quite a lot of these to people that maybe have um, in their house they might have a um, especially now with all this sort of lockdowny type stuff going on we're selling a lot of these sort of things into uh, into places where or people where they've got like a radio already upstairs say in their shack and they've set it up for cross band repeat and they can actually then use this to then communicate back with them use their their base station to give them a bit extra oomph and um, but you always use the handheld and that really really works in fact the 70 as well there is a 70 an ft um ft70 which also has c4fm on it uh, c4fm on it and that really couples up really really well with the zim spots um, fabulous little handheld that is um for for that that sort of stuff um, and it's not too expensive I'll have a little look in a minute and uh, show you that one as well but that's the FT65 at the time of doing this video the 79.95 um, and really really good value again it's the same size same body sort of size as the 25 so compared to my trusty VX VX3 again you can kind of see there you go the sort of size of it Right, let's get that one put away. Now, the next one I'll have a little look at is the FT4. Now, that's a dual band radio, but the difference with that one is its size. It's actually, that is a throwback to the VX3, and it's got that same, or a very similar sort of body style, but it's got quite a modern, you know, it's got the same um, sort of slit type display on it. It's still got a keyboard, um, and it's still got a rubberized PTT and the side entry um, earphone and microphone sort of socket. Um, really, really good. Um, bit of kit and it's uh, it's cheap as well so we'll have a little look at that one right so ft4 like i said dual band but this time comes with the same manuals or similar but this time you'll see there is a huge size difference see that is almost the size of the my palm of my hand like the other one so let's get that out of the way for a second Put it back to the VX3. There you go. So it's quite a it's quite a small one. Um, if I put it next to my pocket knife, you can sort of see it's a very small radio. The antenna that comes with it is, I would have said, is a standard. Yeah, it's the same. They all use the same aerial by the looks of it, and um, that's sort of like rationalisation in it is the uh, finest. Um, in there. Um, but again nice little thing rubberized ptt the same as the others same sort of door entry up there um, and a neat little keyboard slightly different layout keyboard just to obviously save space and they do have one thing in common um, in particular um, is the programming cable now what i would suggest to anyone that buys any one of these three handhelds is make sure you order an scu 35 at the same time because this will enable you to program it. And the programming software is available for free on all three of these radios um, on uh, yesu.com on their website. Um, just download it. Um, I think we've probably got links to it on our website. If we haven't, I've just reminded myself and I'll make sure they're there for you um, if you haven't already uh, um, sort of bought one. But as I say, these are fabulous, good value um, for money, um, pocket size, um, radios and like I said they range from sort of 59 pounds up to 79.95 um, and these have been absolutely um, flying off the shelves um, the last um, couple of weeks Drop the aerial. Um, as I say because uh, loads and loads of people have been um, re sort of discovering the, the, the hobby um, with obviously all this sort of uh, lockdown type stuff and communicating with people and it's really good to hear actually because i've been listening to a lot of the two meter uh, band at the moment so two meter and 70 sems are all quite buzzy at the moment which is which is really good to hear um i do set you know speak to a couple of people have um you know friends um, that are local um we just chitty chat on that and just use it as a um, well while we're sort of uh, doing the 
they're like playing sort of uh, assembling things or or designing little circuits whatever we're always chatting on on two meters um we tuck ourselves away run on very low power and um yeah it's really been useful so that basically sums everything up um three radios there you go three radios see them all from Yesu that won't break the bank thanks for watching see you soon good afternoon everyone trust you're keeping well and uh, staying safe in these rather extraordinary times uh, Martin's asked me just to go through one one product today that I've selected out of our range and the one that's a very uh, unsung hero of our product range is the Yesu FTA range of aviation transceivers. Um, they address quite a different market to most of our other transceivers. As we know, most of our stuff that we sell is for fun. We, we, you know, we like to use them, band scopes, doing digital modes, etc. The FTA range of transceivers have quite a different uh, brief, product brief for their design. They're made to get us out of trouble or as the primary communications mean if we have something like a, a microlight. Um, they are designed to be very intuitive to use, dependable and reliable and they're not to be confused with a ham or a should we say a recreational transceiver. Their prime purpose is to work and they genuinely may save your life in in certain situations so i'm going to tell you about something now which i never shared with my colleagues because it bored the tears out of them but this is absolutely genuine this happened to me about at least 20 years ago now when i was flying um en route from elstree aerodrome to leeds bradford um and i was in a cessna 172 uh, flying instrument imc because uh, I was at top of my game then, I'd done my instrument rating in America, done my IMC rating in the UK, I was flying in cloud, uh, everything was good, directional indicator, everything altitude, approaching Leeds Bradford, I was about 20 miles out, and I had a total electrical failure in the plane, I mean, when I say total, I mean everything, luckily, I didn't panic, because I was, you know, I was on form, I had a battery powered GPS uh, receiver, 2,000 pounds I have you know, it was one of the first in the country, um, and uh, I, had, I kept my heading, I kept my altitude, I didn't panic, and I had to, it, while I was flying on instrument conditions, which is not easy, uh, put the, uh, uh, the, the, um, the controls th on my knees, thumb through poolies, and very luckily, I had a, um, a, a one of the old type of mobile phones, the old analog ones. Remember the old powerful ones. I was able in those days to get through to the control tower. I phoned them up. I told them, in fact, I hadn't crashed. Uh, the reason why I disappeared off radar is my my transponder had gone offline, and uh, that's why I disappeared off the radar. Um, I spoke to the control tower. I said I was okay. I didn't need to call a pan call. Um, if they could give me a straight in approach, I was, I was fine, etc, etc. Had a happy ending. I was able to restore power. My main breaker had tripped. And luckily, it, like I say, it was a happy ending. If someone from MLS had phoned me, if they were training then, uh, back in 20 years ago or more, maybe more like 30, uh, I'd have bitten their hand off for an FTA transceiver. Uh, because uh, genuinely, in, in, a, in, in, a, in a plane... Um, you, you do, you know, stuff does happen. And it's the FTA transceiver is, it's got C of A approval. You can use it in a plane and it's fully legal to operate. Um, the other thing is I just wanted to add what happened to me back 20, 30 years ago, you couldn't replicate now because genuinely you'll be lucky to phone up a control tower now. And secondly, um, most of the digital mobile phones now don't work very well in the air. The beams are much lower and the, the handhelds we have now are a much lower power than the old analog ones. So the FTA transceivers 
genuinely might save your bacon and that's a big deal they're a full uh full five watts am again don't confuse it with an fm handy uh that's for recreational use and believe it or not an am receiver genuinely is more complicated to make it's got an agc circuit it's designed to be frequency stable accurate and easy to operate the FTA range comes in various flavours, ranging from the base model, which is just a transceiver, to the top of the model, which includes a VOR and includes an ILS. Now, the ILS, probably you wouldn't want to shoot an approach using the ILS, but you know what? It's a great a backup or to confirm that your other equipment is kind of reading similar to what the ILS on the hand is reading the VOR however is very useful again if I'd had a VOR on in that plane and I did not have a GPS and remember 30, 20 30 years ago GPS's were very rare um, if you were in a conventional aeroplane and you had total electrical failure and your GPS uh, is powered off the the main system as most system things are it, it's kind of have handy to have a transceiver with VOR ILS and you can, can communicate with a control tower. The FTA range comes with a headset adapter for your standard a, uh, a David Clark, Peltor, whatever have you, aviation headset jacks, and with their dynamic microphones. So you can plug them in, use them, they're good to go. They come with, uh, the L versions come with a lithium battery, and in additional, you have a dry cell battery tray as well. But the nice thing is with the lithium, as you know, once you've charged it, it will hold its charge for yonks. So great thing to have in your aircraft, possibly even to use as your primary um, means of communication for things like micro lights, etc. They're CFA approved. Uh, they're here and they're in stock. And uh, yeah, hope. by the way, stay safe and big 73 and 44 from the MLS team. Take care. Okay, so that's it for uh, another something for the weekend in April uh, 2020. Hope you've enjoyed a 40 odd minutes of chat and introduction on equipment. There's lots and lots more to talk about, but I reckon you'll have got through at least two cups of tea or coffee watching this little lot. Don't forget to check out my mate Cullum on DX Commander uh, on YouTube. Um, very entertaining, as I'm sure you've already found out. I see his uh, uh, viewing figures um, and likes have gone up tremendously. Um, so uh, it's definitely worth looking at. Um, great fun. So all the best to you. Any queries, any um, questions you have on product, you know where to call. MLNS, of course. All the best. Please stay safe and see you next week. Bye-bye. It's four, Tony. He's got four babies. It's four. It's definitely four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Four. Oh, God. So cute. Oh, my God, my dad was here to take all of them. <laughs> <laughs>